Hey, this is the first in a short series of videos designed to help you understand how to do some basic Doom modding. The specific thing I'm trying to aim for is how to do some animations. But for those of you who are new to Doom modding, I'm going to go over some basic setup material. One of the first things I like to do when I make a mod is to just jot down a couple of notes outlining my goals and a couple of ideas that I might have. This is important because you don't want to find yourself chasing a moving target. So I've got a folder that I made called Doom Modding. I've put it on my desktop, but obviously you can put it wherever you need to. And inside that folder, I've got a document called Notes. So I'm going to be working through a couple of examples throughout this tutorial. So the mod I'm going to be working on first is going to be working with fists. The second one I'll work on in this series is one involving the pistol. To start here, I'm going to just write down a couple of things that I'm thinking about. These are a few things I might want to make and animate. A punch, an uppercut, a hook, a backhand, and a hammer fist. I may not use all of these things, it may be that some of these get cut, but when I go to write out these ideas, I want to write down all of the ideas that I have. It's better to cut an idea that you've come up with than to miss one that you never came up with. So I'll just go ahead and save that. The next thing you're going to need is something called Slade 3. Slade 3 is a program that allows you to open the WAD and PK3 files in which most of the content for Doom mods are contained. At the time of recording, in September 2018, the website is slade.mancubus.net. A link is in the description. So let's go ahead and open up a PK3 file. As you can see here, I have Project Brutality version 2.03, or more precisely, the PK3 file for it. I've associated this file type with Slade, so I can just go ahead and double click on it, and it'll open up. I'm currently having a bug where everything seems very small. I don't know why, but whatever, we can still use it. I don't know where the files will be located in your mod. If you're going to make your own, you can invent all this stuff, but certainly if you're using someone else's, you might have to do a little exploring around. For the sprites I want, I'm going to go to Sprites, Weapons, and Melee. I'm going to organize by name, so they're in alphabetical order, and then go up to Melee, go to Hand to Hand, and I know my sprites are down here where the punches are. So I'm only going to export one file. Um, because I'm just going to pick an uppercut one. I'm going to go to export. I'm going to export to that file location and then boom, there it is. I can now double click on that. I can now do anything I need to edit this file. At this point, I would really recommend that you begin organizing. It's never too early. What I like to do is I'll create a folder called development. And in that folder, I'll put another folder called original files. that's where these things are going to live. There's some kind of graphical bug right here where it's showing up like this, but the file doesn't have that in there, so I'm not really worried. Either way, it's really important to make a folder that has all of your original files in it. The reason is because you're going to be doing a lot of editing and you want to at least know where you started from. You're also going to want to make sure that you get any files you might need from colleagues who are also collaborating with you on this. You'd be surprised at what the Doom community has already made you may not have to reinvent the wheel for some of what you want to do. For example, I've got a file called one hands with gloves compressed.png. This is a file made by someone named Carrot, and it's this, which seems a little weird, but what this is, it's basically a conglomeration of all the different hand gestures and things that he's pulled out of various sources. I'm going to be using one of the sprites from this in the next video I do to actually edit and show you how to do some basic photo editing. So that's basically it for this tutorial. This should give you the basics on how to at least get started with Doom modding. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to do some basic graphical editing. Thanks for watching.